I am really excited to be here talking to all of you today uh, for a few reasons. Uh, first and foremost, I get to represent H.B. Fuller Company. Uh, this is a company with 126 year history in the adhesive industry. Today, we're the largest company in the world focused solely on adhesives. Uh, and what's happened to our company, especially built on that legacy over the last few years, is a, is a company that's winning in the market, creating value for customers, and is building a great future. And uh, I'm really proud to, to be here with a team of people from Fuller and to, uh, to represent that company. I, I'm also really pleased to be here at, at this great ASC event. Outside of a World Adhesive Conference, uh, this is the largest event the, uh, the, the industry's put on. Uh, Fantastic to be a part of this organization. As Tracy said, I was a former chairman. Uh, but but I, I hope you all join me in congratulating Matt, the team, and today's current board. Uh, they're doing a great job running the association, and they've certainly pulled together a fantastic event here. So thanks and congratulations. <laughs> I'm also pleased to be here in Minnesota in Minneapolis as a citizen of this community. Uh, you know, if, if for those of you who, who haven't spent a lot of time here and you, you open up the, the magazines and the books, you, you hear about what a great place this is to live. And you know, once you come to visit, you realize it's not the weather, right? And, and uh, I saw a couple guys, they said it was snowing here this week. There's guys from Atlanta. They haven't seen snow in their lives, right? It's October. Uh, but, uh, but it is a great place for, for, a, for a lot of reasons. Uh, one of those reasons, great adhesive companies are there, N not just H.B. Fuller, but, uh, but Applied Materials, one of the largest uh, distributors in the adhesive industry, Graco, a, a great manufacturing company that makes application equipment for our industry, and of course 3M. Uh, so there's, 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 a, there's a lot of great center of adhesives right here in the Twin Cities. Uh, but it's not just adhesive companies. Per capita, there's, there's more Fortune 500 companies in this city than any city in America. There's more theater seats per capita than any city except New York City in America. This city has the highest level of philanthropic activity of any place in, in the country. Uh, it's, got, it's been voted one of the best biking communities in the world. Uh, this, is a, this is a community that gives back uh, great education systems, great place to live, and uh, certainly for us at H.B. Fuller, a great place, place to work. So, so on all three of those dimensions, I'm excited to be here. But I'm especially excited to be able to talk about creating value through adhesives. Uh, because as Tracy pointed out, it, it's something that, that I focused on for the last 27 years of my life. Uh, what we do in our industry makes a big difference for the entire world. And uh, sometimes people think I'm dramatic or overly dramatic when I say that. I hope after this presentation, you'll sit back and say, you know what, we do make a huge difference in this world. And lots of things that happen around us wouldn't be possible if it weren't for the people and the companies that are part of this association and, and in this room. Uh, some of you may have seen this video we created a couple years ago. And, and it demonstrates some of the things we do. And for those of us that work in the industry, it's exciting to know what a big impact we have on our customers' lives and on people's lives. And what we've learned is that sometimes the smallest things make the biggest difference in people's lives. Uh, the, the adhesive technology that, that we create is creating value throughout industries and throughout mankind throughout the world. And, uh, and for, for each one of you who are a part of that, it's something that there, there should be a great source of pride. I'm going to show the video in its entirety at the end of the presentation, and I, I think you'll get a, a good chance of seeing how powerful our industry is overall. Uh, when we talk about creating value in our industry, there's really two things we do fundamentally. Uh, one thing we do is we help manufacturers run their businesses better, right? We help them run their processes, the manufacturing process that creates any good or service that we help to, to make that process run faster, more efficiently, more effectively. The second way we create value is we create new and different products. The products that exist in the world continually improve, and a big part of those improvements is what we do to enable different types of materials to be bonded together. We create value through those two processes. And as an industry, we're at our best when, when we compete, when we innovate, when we add value along those two dimensions. And that's what I'm gonna talk about as we go forward. 
But let's take a look at, at where this industry started, right? The very, very early days of our industry happened when somebody in some village was carrying some clay pot around. And uh, maybe some clumsy kid fell over and, and dropped the pot and it needed to be bonded together, right? Out comes the adhesive chemist who solves the problem. It's a big problem for that small village, right? Because they need to get water to the village and these pots take a long time to create. Well, adhesive chemistry, someone coming up with an idea on how to solve that problem. Lead that to, uh, to later on when, when traders are trying to trade materials across seas and oceans or fight wars. Again, adhesive technology is what enabled the endurance of those materials. And then as culture changed and the Renaissance age came about, and uh, Stradivarius tries to develop what today people say is the most beautiful sounding instrument in the world, again, adhesives were a huge enabler to what happened. None of these things would have been possible without adhesives. Today, it's a lot richer and, and, and more evolved, but the materials, the, the, whether it's the construction materials, the packaging materials being healthier and safer, the, uh, the hygiene materials that we have uh, being able to, to, to drive performance None of those things would be possible without the adhesive technology. So, so the value we create is in how we change the world. So where do we find these opportunities, right? So we, uh, we change the world one small problem at a time. Our industry is one application, one customer, one segment of the industry at a time. It's a $42 billion industry, according to ASC. I think Matt's got surveys for sale, right, Matt, if somebody wants to find out the details? Uh, okay, I'm trying to help you, man. I'm trying to help you. Uh, so <laughs> you can get a global license, right? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, but within, you know, we, we talk about these in macro segments of construction or transportation, assembly, electronics. Uh, but really, it's the micro segments that make the difference, right? It's, it's, it's within electronics, the cell phone market, the, the semiconductor market. Within construction, there's flooring, there's tiles, there's building buildings, there's major construction. Each one of those segments has a whole different set of needs. And, and it's not just selling adhesives to those industries and segments, but understanding what's changing and what could change about those segments that we can create value. So our job as adhesive manufacturers and suppliers of the industry is not to sell adhesives, but to help initiate and drive those changes that happen in each one of those micro segments. And the market's different around the world, right? If, if we're competing in Europe and North America where growth is slower, economies are at a, a much higher level overall, uh, labor rates are higher, those productivity improvements, even small ones that we can create as adhesive manufacturers, have huge amounts of value. If we can improve the, the speed and efficiency of a line by one or two percent, or eliminate waste by a couple percent, we can make, make a big difference. Uh, if, if you look at parts of the world like Asia and, and Latin America, there's, a, there's this growing middle class that's happening. And just the ability to have a consumable good, a, an affordable, low cost consumable good, is, is, is a huge change that happens in the dynamics of those countries. And, and for those of, those of us who've traveled around the world and seen some of these countries, we go to, to cities like Shanghai or Tokyo or Singapore, but most of these people live in the outskirts, right? They're just trying to get into a part of the economy that allows us to have these goods. And a big part of what we enable is the ability of manufacturers to make consumable goods and, 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 and improvements in people's lives that allow them to have a standard of living that, uh, that they could never realize before if it wasn't for what we do in adhesive. So, so understanding these micro segments and also understanding that the world we compete in and we're all in a global market is very different across the world is an important part of understanding how we go about tackling these problems. Uh, so, so that's a background on the industry. Uh, here's a little look at, uh, at the people that make a difference. And, and one thing I talk about all the time at H.B. Fuller, it is all about the people. Uh, this, is, uh, this is not a business that's built on huge capital expansions. It's built on people, and these people are associated with organizations that have a long, rich history of innovating and, and making a difference in people's lives. I look at H.B. Fuller. Our company was formed in 1895 by a guy by the name of Harvey Benjamin Fuller. He saw a need in the wallpaper market that, that resulted in him getting a patent for wallpaper, right? for, for adhesives related to wallpaper, and built what today is a, is a great company. He was an innovator. He, he had the first patent in the company's history, and he made a, a big difference. Franklin Adhesives, Fra Franklin International today, 
uh, was formed by a company that understood some of the science of protein adhesives and made some big differences in how they created their products. Lord Chemical, who's a, a fantastic company on high-end technology, solved a big problem that existed in bonding rubber to metal, and that's what created th the start of their, their, their history. Those companies today are successful because they rely on those roots of being innovators, finding problems and solving those, those problems. Henkel, Henkel started when, uh, during the, the Great War, as it was called, because was, there was no Second World War envisioned, they had a, a shortage of uh, adhesives to, to bond their soap cartons together. And they found a way to, uh, to, to develop and innovate in those areas. So, so innovation is at the heart of what we do. Solving customer problems is the legacy of these companies. And, and as the people that work for these companies today or supply to these companies, what we need to recognize is, is a big part of, of who we were has to be a big part of who we'll be in the future. And it's our responsibilities to continue on that legacy of innovation and value creation. But it doesn't happen, and, and I'll just talk about one company in that list, H.B. Fuller, and, and when, I, when I look at what we do, it, we build on that legacy of 126 years, but we look forward. What are the new things that are happening? What are the innovations we're gonna create? What's the vision we need to have globally? What are the innovations, what, what are the things we need to do in terms of partnering with other suppliers and OEMs to succeed in our industry? And uh, I'd say for each one of you that are part of your company, understanding what that vision is for your company, creating that vision, and making certain that it's tied to the legacy of our industry and the future of what we can create is important. Uh, it's important for your company. I think when the companies in this industry operate that way, it's great for our industry. I, sh I talk a couple times in here about collaboration. Collaboration has to happen across the supply chain. In, in our business, the most, nearly every adhesive we sell and our company and most adhesive company are a combination of materials that come from various suppliers in the chemical industry. And, and that ability to collaborate across the industry is critical to the, to the long-term success. And, and it has to be a collaboration that's built on those two end-use needs. Are we improving? people's processes, and are we helping them create new and different products that didn't exist in the future? I'll have suppliers come to me and they'll say, well, how about this polymer, or this tackifier? It, it's not about the chemistry, right? It's about us understanding the end, end use needs and then bringing the capabilities of all these companies together to solve those really important needs that exist out there in the market. So on, I'll talk briefly about this first one, manufacturing processes, and, I, and I'd say for us as an industry, and, and uh, as adhesive suppliers, but also for, for those that supply materials to us, understanding our customers' processes and how they apply adhesives is critically successful. Uh, about 100 people from the association came over to, to visit us at, at HB Fuller, and it was, a, it was a great chance to see uh, some of the people that really drive our business, but, but also some of the work we do to understand our customers' processes. Inside of our laboratories, we, we work to become process experts. That's how we succeed. Understanding the nuances of how at a thousand meters a minute the adhesive that's being sprayed out there performs and acts on a, on a customer's substrate. That's what drives efficiency and productivity. And, and in each one of those niches where, where we operate, becoming experts at those processes is what enables us to see things that add value for our customers. And, and I'd encourage each one of us that sell or work in a market to understand those processes and how we can make them better for our customers. That's how we add value. Uh, and of course, there's game-changing solutions that we need, to, we need to bring to these customers. Uh, and here again, I, you know, I think we'll, we'll talk about the, the big ideas and, and the big changes that happen in, in industries, but there isn't one big change that happens in our industry. It's one application at a time, right? It's one new idea to make a baby diaper more efficient. It's one new idea to make window glasses more energy efficient. It's one new idea to make a car a little bit lighter or improve the performance of one seam that we all do individually that adds up to the collective success of our industry. Uh, and auto, I've got a few examples, right, that, uh, that, that, that some of you, uh, you recognize. I know when I started in the adhesive industry, we talked a lot about the, uh, the automotive. Actually, the one on the left wasn't, it wasn't in, I don't think it was in operation. I saw one of these cars. Uh, but uh, but, but the, uh, the evolution of the automotive industry has hugely been enabled 
because of what's possible from an adhesive and sealant technology. Uh, an average car in the 1970s weighed over 4,000 pounds, uh, had much lower energy efficiency, right? The one I, I, uh, one, the one I drove was uh, eight miles a gallon. It was a really cool car, but it was eight miles a gallon. <laughs> Uh, well, it wasn't that cool. I thought it was cool. So, uh, and, um, and, uh, and on average, those, those cars use seven pounds of adhesives, right? And, uh, and at the time, you know, we were really proud of the fact because we were comparing those cars to the ones that were made in the 30s and 40s that weighed twice as much as those cars, right? Today, the average car weighs about 2,900 pounds. You know, I asked somebody to get me a number, I, 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 and I, I, I assume this is true, 40 pounds of adhesives in the adhesives and sealants in the average vehicle today. So 25% lighter, three times, four times more energy efficient. Uh, they're cooler, they're sleeker. They've got all kinds of safety features, abilities to do things. Each one of those components that's pulled together in an automobile, the technology of people in this room is enabling and driving. So when you talk about the kind of impact we have, yeah, each one of our companies or individually who might have only worked on one of those applications, but collectively, this industry has changed the automotive industry. Um, and, uh, and these things are possible, right? Now, I've never driven one of these. I've only seen a couple of them. But, uh, but if you look at uh, commercial uh, advertisements today, right, cars are all about being cool and sexy. And to make the kind of curves you have in this car, to eliminate the rivets, to, to improve the performance and efficiency, to make the interior of this car look like it does, uh, an adhesive by companies like H.B. Fuller give that look and feel that exists. And, uh, and, and many, many companies in this room are part of, of making that. So uh, at the end of the day, when you think, if you think cars are cool and sexy, you got to think that adhesives are really cool and sexy, right? <laughs> uh, is everybody with me on that? So, uh, <laughs> Other important issues that exist in society, certainly food quality and safety is, is, is an important trend that exists for, for all of us across society, as well as convenience. And, uh, you know, salad, you know, does anybody still know how to make a salad, right? <laughs> and so <laughs> we open a bag, we pour it out, but it's an amazing convenience. But, but the ability for us to, to, to package that lettuce and move it all around the world and keep it fresh for weeks at a time is driven by the adhesive technology that, that, that enables the breathability and the performance of those packages to exist. So multi-layer films allow tuna now to be in a pouch, allow, allow uh, the, uh, uh, the, the salads that we produce to exist in the, in the forms that they do. Uh, this is a great little project. And again, I love these little projects because they all add up to big projects. In fact, I think I have a box here with me. Um, so grapes are shipped. This is not a grape box. This is a banana box. But bananas are shipped as well. Uh, or pineapple, Chiquita pineapples. But they're, they're shipped in boxes like this, right? You probably see them in your supermarket when, when you go there. Well, they're shipped. They're, they're, they're produced in places like Chile, and they're, they're shipped around the world. You know, it used to be people used to eat, eat fruits and vegetables when they were in season. Now you want them every day, right? You want to you show up at the thing here and you want to have blackberries. Well, if it's not blackberry season, and it's certainly not blackberry season here in Minnesota, uh, <laughs> you've got to get them here from somewhere halfway around the world. And, uh, and packages like this are an important part of it. Well, one of the, one of the problems that are happening with these packages is the, uh, as the grapes get shipped around the world is the package is, starts to sag. You can see some of the sagging that happened here. And then the, the grapes actually come in contact with the, uh, the package below it. So a project our company's working with is to make a, a, a piece of adhesive coated material that's embedded inside this corrugated container, allows it to have higher strength, have no sag resistance, and, uh, and make our, 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 the fruit that we all eat fresher and safer, right? That's the kind of thing we do in the adhesive industry, right? It doesn't look as sexy as the Ferrari, <laughs> but it's equally as important, right? We make a big difference in mankind by finding those opportunities to create value. Most people look at this box and they don't see an adhesive opportunity, right? People in our industry look at this and say, how can I make that better? How can I drive pro process and product improvements for my customers? Uh, clean drinking water. You know, it's a, it's a big problem around the world. There's a billion people around the world that, uh, that don't have access to clean drinking water. A billion, right? That's one in eight of the human beings that exist 
on the Earth. And uh, a shocking number, and I, I did some math to confirm that it was right, is that every 20 seconds in the world, uh, because of, of unclean water, there's a child in the world that dies. That's about a million children a year, because they don't have access to clean drinking water. And, um, and, and it's a big problem of our, of our time. And, and yes, adhesives are an important part of the answer, right? So every problem that exists out there, we as an industry uh, can make a big difference on. Uh, what they do in, uh, so this is a picture from Guatemala. There's, it's a, it, there's a clay pot there that they use to, to filter through the water and, and pull out the microbes. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty basic system, very heavy, difficult to move around. Uh, there's a consortium from, uh, from MIT and, and involving a bunch of companies that's developed a little system. Uh, the the Ecofiltro system is one that's, uh, that, that's, that's very portable, very usable, very affordable. That's, uh, that's been developed, as I said, with a consortium from MIT filter companies and uh, an adhesive company to solve this problem. We solve major problems around the world as an industry. We're a big part of whatever the issue is out there. Oftentimes, uh, the, the, the solution involves multiple components and materials that have to come together and generally have to be bonded together. Uh, it's important work we do in the adhesive industry. Um, and, and the water problem is not just a problem related to potable water that we can all drink, but there's uh, industrial waste water problems that, that we as an adhesive industry touch and make a big difference. Uh, the textile industry, uh, for every kilo of textile, there's 170 liters of water in some processes that are out there that need to be processed and treated. And, and oftentimes today go untreated. And uh, this is a problem, and does anybody know where the center of the, the uh, the textile industry is near India, Bangladesh, right? Does everybody know where Bangladesh is, right? <laughs> Who's been to Bangladesh? Okay, so we got four people that have been to Bangladesh. Uh, so there's Bangladesh, right? Right there are the Bay of Bengal next to, uh, uh, next to India. So, and if you knew that, you feel like you're pretty worldly. If you've been there, you're really worldly, right? Um, but, but really the problem isn't in Bangladesh, it's in Dhaka. Right, Dhaka is, is a city in Bangladesh where millions of people live. And these people are dependent on the textile industry for their survival. They're also dependent on water for their survival. Uh, the water table in, in Dhaka is decreasing six feet a year because of the textile industry. So the livelihood that's keeping these people surviving and thriving is also taking away the water that they need for their long-term survival. Right? It's a, uh, it's a human problem. Uh, if you're sitting here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, until you see a picture like that and then you think about it in those terms, it feels like somebody else's problem far away. And if, and if you're in one of our labs at H.P. Fuller, it feels like an important uh, adhesive project because we, we need to uh, sell some glue, right? We need to, to make some money. Fundamentally, we make a big difference for these people. There's a huge project going on to, to enable better water treatment systems. Uh, both the suppliers and the industry of textiles are working on this, as well as the filtration industry. And of course, the people in the adhesive industry are a big part of, of enabling the technology that allows us to, uh, to filter the water that makes a difference. We make a big difference in the world in the adhesives industry. Uh, <clears throat> so how do you find these opportunities? I talked about the fact that you have to find them big and small. Uh, and, and they really are one problem at a time, one area at a time. When you work in this industry a while, you realize what a diverse segmented world it is and what a diverse segmented set of technologies. But there are some megatrends out there. I talked about the one, one megatrend. In fact, the Millennial Project talks about 15 global megatrends, right? One of them is the scarcity of water. Uh, one of them is, is the need for modern conveniences and, and the, the developing middle class that exists around the world. And this means that different things to different people, right? The developing middle class in this country is very different than the developing middle class in India. In fact, if you make $25,000 a year, you're in the top 10% of the global economic strata. So it's a very different problem in different parts of the world, but it's a problem, right, that we need to continue to address and develop. And, uh, you know, I, I raised four kids, but uh, I never had to do three at a time. So if you got three at a time, it's a big problem. And, uh, and the work we do to make thinner diapers, better diapers, more affordable diapers, that's important work that changes the world that we live in for people in all walks of life. Uh, the, the connected world we're living in pr provides huge opportunities for us. Uh, it, it is a 
changing, evolving, and it's a growing uh, difference that's going to happen across the globe. And for, for a lot of people in this room, it's a big part of what they do every day. For a lot of people in other parts of the world, it's a very, very small part of what they do. Uh, this is an evolution that will last through the lifetimes of, of people here in this room. Uh, even something like this little device, right, this, this little iPhone. A couple years ago, it was screwed together, you know, and today there's adhesives that hold the camera together, hold the camera in place, hold the cables together, hold the screen onto the, the, the front of the device, all the, all the semiconductors and microchips, all kinds of adhesives all over this one little device. And there's thousands of them that we see and some of them that we don't see that are inside the infrastructures. Uh, huge change that's happening, mega trend that exists in our industry. Affordable health care, right, it's a famous word we use all the time now in our country. Uh, it, it's a big issue, right, finding ways to affordably drive the health care industry. Uh, today, what used to be done through mechanical fasteners, right, stitches, when you had a cut. I got, I got a scar right here from one I got when I was eight years old. Today, you wouldn't have that scar, right? You have an adhesive technology that can bond that together, heals the wound safer and faster than what happened here for me a long time ago. All kinds of wound healing is being driven by new, new adhesive technology. Medical devices are a booming industry where all kinds of components are being held together because of adhesive technology. The importance of our industry in driving the success of affordable health care is very high. And the final mega trend I'll talk about is alternate energy. Uh, solar panels will continue to grow and be more efficient, more effective. Adhesives enable the production, enable the flow of electronics. It also enables these things to be mounted and put wherever they need to be in a construction project. Huge part of the success of this industry is driven by how, how good of a job our industry does in enabling this technology to succeed. Same thing applies for, for windmills that need all kinds of efficiency and, and don't need heavy, bulky mechanical fasteners as part of the industry. So the, uh, the opportunities are vast and far. They're, uh, they start in very small things, but they're all part of big megatrends. Uh, I said I'd show this video, so before I wrap up, I, I want to show uh, briefly a video that talks a little bit about our industry. Our company has a legacy and an important future, one that is only limited by our imagination. Our innovations in adhesives help tackle some of the biggest issues facing the world, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. They've proven that sometimes the smallest things have the biggest effects. They've given us the ability to improve people's lives, people we may never meet. Adhesives have changed the world of water, hygiene, medicine, energy, food, transportation, and communications, to name a few. No matter where you call home, they have enabled us to heal, nourish, explore, touch, sustain, and renew. It's been an inspiring journey fueled by passion. Our passion to make the things in our life faster, lighter, smarter, smaller, greener, cleaner, leaner, softer, thinner, tougher, stronger, safer. But we are still on a journey, a journey into the future. And while there will be obstacles ahead, we are ready to tackle them. We are seekers and tweakers, thinkers and tinkerers, pokers and prodders, pioneers and problem solvers in a never-ending quest to solve innovators' biggest challenges. Any product you can imagine can be made better with adhesives. H.B. Fuller is determined to lead with vision, passion, and curiosity. To keep dreaming, to keep creating, to keep building a better, stronger, faster future.
So, uh, so this, this video, actually, I think it's uh, being posted on adhesives.org. And, uh, and if somebody wants to, you know, I think it, it talks in, in, in big, broad terms about all the little things that we do in our industry. And, uh, and if somebody wants a copy of it, they can contact uh, Kimberly Sinclair at H.B. Fuller or ASC, and, and we can get you hooked up with it. Because I, I think it talks about the power and the importance of what we do. We do it one small step at a time. Uh, and, uh, and for each one of us, we're, we're privileged, I think we're privileged, to be part of a great, fun, exciting industry. Uh, but we also have an important responsibility to continue that legacy. To continue that legacy that we are an industry that creates value. We, we compete with each other. We add value and work with each other by making a difference out there in the world. Right? We compete against problems with sustainability, problems with water, problems with waste. We solve those problems in our industry. That's what has made us a great industry, and that's what can accelerate the greatness of this industry as we go forward. So whenever you hear words like smarter and smaller, think about adhesive opportunities. And when you hear things like greener and cleaner, there's adhesive opportunities. Lighter, leaner, sexier, sometimes, uh, it's adhesive opportunities. Softer and thinner, stronger and tougher. These are all adhesive opportunities that are out there. And when somebody's got a problem, and, and it's about anything that's being manufactured in the world, generally there's a way that we as an adhesive uh, industry can make them better, thinner, stronger, safer. <clears throat> so I'll, I'll leave with a couple thoughts. One, you know, if you've got an idea, you, you as a person or your company has an idea, you know, I personally would like to see the successes in the adhesive, the ideas in the adhesive industry become commercial successes. So I, I'd be happy personally to support that. Certainly as a company, we'd like to, whether it's a competitor or a supplier or, or a, an equipment manufacturer, you got ideas that can drive process and productivity improvements or make and create new products. Uh, we'd like to be a part of it. I'd certainly like to, to be a part of helping that. Uh, I encourage each one of us to, to, to stand proud and understanding how much value we create, but also uh, move forward with a clear understanding that it's our responsibility to continue on this legacy and, uh, and, and continue to make a big difference in the world. So thanks for your time this morning uh, listening to me on this topic.